a young lady wakes up in the woods in the middle of nowhere with a gag around her mouth. She looks through in the far distance and sees another woman who is also gagged and tries to initiate a conversation with her. But she walks away. After wandering around the woods for some time, she gets to meet other strangers who are also gagged, and they come across a mysterious wooden box. One of them opens the box and finds a variety of weapons. They also find a key to the gags which they use to get rid of them. Abruptly, gunshots begin flying in and as others run for safety, the young lady's brains are blown to pieces. Another man tries helping a young woman who had fallen into a pit of hooks but just as they are about to make it back to the woods, they both step onto landmines and are blown to pieces. Three of the captives though manage to make it out of the woods and run into a service station. They find a couple who they ask where they are, but the couple lie when they say they are in Arkansas. The couple later kill the three strangers by gassing them out, revealing themselves to be part of the group hunting the captives. The couple then receive a call where they are informed that another captive is coming their way. Minutes later, Crystal comes in and requests a pack of cigarettes. She then asks where they are and the couple once again lie to her as they did before when they say they are in Arkansas. After receiving her change, she notices that the cigarettes are too expensive for that region. Believing that the couple are part of the hunters, Crystal proceeds to ruthlessly kill both of them. She then goes outside and upon checking the truck, she finds out that the Arkansas plate is fake and that the region she is in is Croatia. Crystal later befriends a fellow captive Gary. They board a train with the idea of escaping and come across a group of refugees. They get to meet Mike who pretends to be part of the refugee but in truth he is one of the hunters. Gary believes they are all a part of the hunt, but Crystal is reluctant to believe it. When the train is later stopped by Croatian soldiers for its illegal acts, Mike reveals he is indeed part of the hunters but tells Gary and Crystal to calm down and not say a word to the soldiers, promising to give them a head start before he can hunt them. An enraged Gary muscles Mike and then takes a grenade which he sets off, and then throws it in Mike's pants, blowing him to bits. As Gary escapes from the scene, Crystal is taken to a refugee camp where she meets Don, another captive who escaped the woods. Later on, Oliver disguises himself as an envoy from the U.S. Embassy and arrives to take them to the embassy. While on the road, Oliver talks in a way that raises suspicion and Crystal kicks him out of the car. After which, she runs him over with the car. When they check the trunk, they find Gary's body, confirming her suspicion of Oliver's involvement. They also find a map that leads to their hideout and decide to use it to hunt those who were hunting them. They arrive later in the night and Gary distracts one of the hunters as Crystal slits his throat. They then use a pig to distract the rest of the hunters and then Crystal goes on to kill them one after the other, until only one is left. She tortures him to give out the location of their leader who is called Athena and then kills him. When they meet eye for eye, Athena explains that the reason they decided to hunt the captives is because they circulated a group chat in which she and her friends were joking about hunting people. As such, she and her friends had their careers ruined and as a result, they decided to make the hunt a reality by hunting the people who were responsible for spreading the conspiracy theory. Crystal though explains that Athena and her group made a mistake and picked the wrong girl. She states that she has similar first and last names and coincidentally lives in the same city as the crystal they were after. Even so, the two ladies proceed to engage in a brutal fight, where they match each other's strength and skill stride for stride. Crystal though does impale Athena with a food processor, causing her to bleed to death. The film ends with Crystal taking Athena's clothes and her jet which she uses to fly back home. Thank you for watching, remember to like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more.